Hello, so in this example, let's insert some furniture in our rooms. So let's go to Revit project and for furnitures, I will use components and for placing components, I need to insert some additional furniture objects. Uh, some objects can be done inserted in, in typical uh, template file but let's say I want additional objects so I go to insert load families and from family library from family library I can find some folders in which I can look for furniture so casework I can find some stuff here also furniture furniture systems and maybe in other parts let's try to use furniture systems let's look what kind of objects i can find here so maybe some tabletops no no okay just let's look for some sitting stuff Okay, so let's open. Okay, so I have some furniture inserted in my project. So I can go to my 3D view and select my outer walls and use this scope box. And with scope box I can make cutting of my view. And for me it's easier to put some stuff in 3D model. So I go to architecture components and let's say I want to put some chairs here. If I use space, I can rotate chairs. In next room, I want to put some desks. So if I move my arrow, it grabs my wall line. And next part, I want to put some desk chairs. Also, I can create blocks or groups of my furniture. Let's group desk 01 and I can group the subjects and I can put them in another room. Let's move these chairs closer to each other. Maybe let's center them. Okay. Let's move this and let's rotate it. And let's move it to another side. And now if I put additional objects to my group, double tap, modify components, and let's say I want some additional chair in this position. I press finish and all my groups is updated and I have all the furnitures nicely created in my project.